Now a little attitude shot here. <laughs> no, there you go. Do this. Uh, Mike Failer and uh, guitar extraordinaire, and um, I met Mike uh, in the same circuit in the hard rock circuit. But uh, met him down at a club called Diamond Gems in Chula Vista, and uh, it's a classic rock club down there. And uh, Mike was in a group called Ballistic. Luke Jr. Um, they are wonderful rock musicians here in San Diego and I met these guys in the mid 90s. I had just gotten divorced and I was hanging out at all the rock clubs and other clubs and different genres and uh, saw sort of these guys at Park Place out in El Cajon and then uh, over at the Navajo Inn and uh, and one interesting sidebar to this is that uh, their dad Pete DeLuke Sr. is a wonderful saxophone player, a legendary sax player here in San Diego. He now lives back in New York. New York. And uh, I did a bunch of gigs with him in 19, the early 80s. And uh, so, you know, casuals they're called. We do the pickup gigs. And uh, he and uh, a lot of the other wonderful old-time musicians, Milt Rayner, yep. and uh, some of the great big band, Frank Nelson, a lot of the great players that were here. And I was sort of the 30-year-old kid at the time. They'd hire me to play the rock tunes. And these guys were all in their 50s, 60s, 70s, but uh, great experience. And his dad, Pete DeLuke Sr., is quite a legend. I'll let Dino take over with some follow-up on that. Well, I was a lucky kid. I grew up in the Bronx, at Westchester County, New York, and I was exposed to some of the greatest players in the world. When I first got into music, I think the first time I really acknowledged uh, a fantastic player, my dad was doing some gigs with Gene Krupa. And it was right before he died, about a year before he played. Wonderful experience, uh, being brought into his realm and being around him and seeing what he was all about and pretty much the drummer that started it all, you know. Uh, when Gene died, Buddy stepped in and did the benefit for my dad's high school and got to know Buddy Rich and Mel Lewis. Wound up living in Mel Lewis's house in Irvington, New York, and he wound up moving into our apartment in Manhattan. So it was a wild experience. I got a set of Gretsch drums Mel gave me. It was just wonderful. And being around my father, it was always a battle for me to be a jazz player, and he hated the rock thing. But unfortunately, I went with a rock way and uh, did a lot of work with him, did a lot of work with a lot of his friends. Came out here to San Diego in 85. In 87, we started our cover band called Nemesis, which is still going 25 years later, which Mike Failer's a part of, and have had a lot of success. In 95, we formed an original band named Sled. That band's opened up for every national act you could think of from Blue Easter Cold to Tesla. Good, and you, you can add sounds with the tag of that, so, yeah. That might have been a take. Well. Yeah, but you are not worried about me. Hey, Daryl. Yes? Play that back. If it's a take for the rhythm section, they can go home. 